how valuable can a 1976 dollar coin be? The Eisenhower dollar, also called Bicentennial dollar, or an Ike dollar. The Bicentennial coins are favorites of many. So we decided to talk about them again and give you some updated info about them. How much money do you really have in your pocket? A $204,000 penny found by a teenager. A $10,000 coin found in a Cheerios box. And an $18,000 penny found by one of our viewers. Got coins? JB Coins Inc. on YouTube. Daily videos and free giveaways. Join us today. Hey YouTubers, this is J and B of JB Coins Inc. And in this video, we will talk about the dollar coins struck in 1975 and 76, called, like we mentioned in the intro, Bicentennial Dollars. Bicentennial coins, not only dollar coins, are a favorite of many. And because of their unique obverse design and short run, they are very collectible. If you like this topic or any topic related to coins and currency, please consider subscribing so we can help your numismatic knowledge grow while you help us grow our channel. If you're an existing subscriber, welcome back. We greatly appreciate all of you. Now, going back to our video. The Bicentennial Coins were issued to celebrate the 200th anniversary of the signing of the Declaration of Independence. And besides the dollar coins, the U.S. Mint struck Bicentennial Quarters and a half dollar. But in this video, we will focus on the dollar coins only. We'll give you some updates about them, and of course, talk about their most recent values. Now, the 1976 Bicentennial Dollar was designed by Frank Gasparro, Michael Collins, and James Cooper. The 1976 Eisenhower Dollar had a one-year reverse design, displaying the Liberty Bell, as well as an image of the moon in the background. There are no bicentennial dollars with a 1975 date on it. The bicentennial dollars were actually struck in 75 as well, but they all will have two dates on the obverse, 1776 to 1976. The bicentennial dollars were struck in clad and silver composition, depending on which mint struck them. These coins were pulled from circulation in huge numbers by collectors when they were first issued. And unfortunately, after 1982, many of the silver dollars were melted. So the true mintages are really unknown. Today, you hardly will see them in circulation. However, they are still legal tender. If you'd like to collect or look for a valuable one, you can buy them on the secondary market with a premium or ask your bank if they have any. Going back to the basics and some quick info about them. The 1976 Bicentennial Dollars were minted in all three mints, the Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco mints. Please remember the Philadelphia and Denver mints struck Bicentennial Dollar coins for business everyday transactions. These coins were still circulating back then. They don't have a special finish while the San Francisco Mint struck regular dollar coins as well as proof coins minted for collectors. The Bicentennial Dollar Coins have two types or two varieties, the terms are actually interchangeable, and can be distinguished by the thickness of the lettering on the reverse. Variety 1 is designed in low relief, bold, thicker lettering on the reverse, and Variety 2 is a sharp design, delicate, thinner lettering on the reverse. You can see it in this picture, courtesy of PCGS. Now the 1976 Type 1 is the scarcer variety. Even examples in MS65 are very hard to find for the 1976 Type 1. The Philadelphia Mint struck that year slightly above 4 million Variety 1 dollar coins in clad composition. It is a very low mintage. They won't bear a P-Mint mark. Now, 
about their values. Like we mentioned, variety one is more desirable and sells for more. In grade MS66+, Plus, which is the highest grade recently attributed, this coin sold at heritage auctions for $5,640. This coin also has a CAC sticker on the slab, which always brings extra value to any coin. More info about CAC certification is linked at the end of this video. A half grade means in between grades. So in this example, it's better than an MS66 grade, but not quite as good as an MS67. The Philadelphia Mint struck over 113 million of the Bicentennial Ikes in Type 2. The $1976 Type 2 in the same grade, MS66 Plus, sold at Heritage Auctions for only $650. The highest grade for this coin is MS67, and they sell on average for $2,600. So, Type 1 is definitely the one that brings more money, but Type 2 is also pricey. Now let's look at the Denver Mint. The Denver Mint struck over 21 million Variety 1 Bicentennial Ikes. They will bear a D-Mint mark. The highest grade known until now is MS67+, Plus, but it never got sold. Now, half a grade lower, this coin in grade MS67 sold last year at Stax Bowers for $9,600. <laughs> what great money! Could you imagine what the 67 plus would be? The Denver Mint struck over 82 million Bicentennial Ikes with the Type 2 Reverse. The highest grade for this type is also MS67 plus, but it was never sold. So PCGS estimates the value of the 1976D Ike Type 2 in grade MS67 Plus at $7,500. It's a couple thousand dollars lower than the value of a Type 1, but still great money. The San Francisco Mint, like we mentioned, struck clad and silver dollars. They all will bear an S Mint mark and sell for great money, too. However, what we'd like to bring to your attention is a slight difference in the types that you can see on them that not everyone might know. The 76 clad proof Ikes were struck with type 1 and type 2 reverse. But the situation is different with 1976S Bicentennial Silver Dollars. The San Francisco Mint struck them in proof finish and regular finish. They both have an S mint mark, and they both are type 1 or variety 1. The only difference between them is their finish, glossy versus regular. Now here you have an example of the 76S uncirculated dollar in grade mint state 69. This coin sold last year at Heritage Auctions for $4,500. The bicentennial dollar coins were issued in many different sets. We want to talk about them briefly since we're receiving many questions about them. Obviously, you can't buy these sets from the U.S. Mint now, but you can buy them on the secondary market or even during our live auctions that we have here on YouTube several times each week. So here you have a 1975 proof set in this set, you'll have three bicentennial coins, a quarter, a half dollar, and dollar. Same goes with the 76 proof set. Bicentennial coins in these sets will have an S mint mark, but their composition is clad. Next, the 1975 and 76 uncirculated mint sets. These sets have dollar coins from the Philadelphia and Denver mints. The next is a three-coin Bicentennial Silver proof set. Again, they will have a S mint mark and a shiny proof coin finish. And the last one is the 1976 S Silver uncirculated set. They have an S mint mark and a regular finish. By the way, 
silver coins in these sets, not only the Ikes, are composed of 40% silver. Hopefully, it would help you to understand the difference between the sets and the bicentennial dollar coins in general. As you can see in this video, they are very special, collectible, and valuable. Buying mint or proof sets might be well worth it. In any regard, if you love bicentennial coins as much as we do, please watch our playlist dedicated to them, which is linked in the upper corner of this one. And now we have a question for you. Do you have any bicentennial dollar coins? Please let us know in the comments section below. And before we sign off, we'd like to say thank you to all of you who have become a member of our channel. If you'd like to become a JB Coins Inc. coin family member, please follow the link below this video. So we hope you liked the video and found it helpful. And if you did, please like, share, and subscribe so we can create more videos for you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.